The Summertown basketball teams get ready for their season opener tomorrow night. The North Alabama football team looks in their season at Memphis. Plus, a Lawrence County dance team will be taking part in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's coming up next on X Sports Tonight. From the X Sports Network, this is X Sports Tonight. Welcome to X Sports Tonight. I'm AJ Good. Starting things off with high school basketball, where Summertown will start this season at home tomorrow night. Both the boys and girls will be taking on a Wayne County, a tough test for each side to start their campaigns with. Starting off, the Lady Eagles, who are coming off a great season that ended in the sub-state. Now, Summertown will move on with plenty of experience coming back. Their first two games of the season will be one of the toughest stretches to start in the state. On Thursday, they'll face Wayne County, a Class A favorite, and Page on Saturday, who is a favorite in Class 3A. But head coach Jeremy Jean says his girls will be ready for the challenge. Oh, it is. We'll see where we're at right now. Um, we'll see what we got to get better at to, to win games early, but also to see you know, how mature are we with the returning players that we have? You know, we should be able to make changes on the fly a little sooner this year than we did last year. It's nice to see how that goes. Now over to the boys' side, who will also face a tough stretch to open up as Wayne County comes to town on Thursday and will face off with the Murfreesboro Central on Saturday. The Eagles have to replace four out of five starters from last year's state tournament team. Head coach Wes Allen says his young team has grown a lot in the first couple of weeks, and they'll find out where they are early on in the season. Sure, it is. You know, uh, played Murfreesboro Central Magnet a couple years ago. Uh, very well coached. So is uh, Wayne County with Coach Franks. Uh, so we're going to have to be pretty disciplined. We're going to have to play hard, uh, you know, and that's something that we're just kind of stressed is just having that kind of energy and, uh, uh, and fight that uh, with these young guys that, that really hadn't had much of an opportunity yet. So uh, we're excited. Coming up next, we head on over to college football where North Alabama will close out the season on the road at Memphis. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on fuel for work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Renright Equipment has all the tools you need to get the job done. From bobcats to trenchers to augers to lifts, we have a large variety of equipment for every project, big or small. Need a new mower? We have you covered there too. With great brands Hustler and Big Dog, Renright is ready to serve all your equipment needs. Call today and reserve your equipment from Rent Ride Equipment in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. AJ Good goes the distance for local sports on the X Sports Network. Welcome back to X Sports Tonight. Now over to college football where North Alabama is getting ready for their final game of the 2022 season. They'll hit the road to take on an FBS opponent in Memphis as they look to end the season the right way. The Lions will look to score the upset of the Tigers on Saturday from the Liberty Bowl. Memphis is 5-5 five and five overall and will be aiming for bowl eligibility this weekend. No doubt it's been a tough season so far for North Alabama with a 1-9 record now looking for a new head coach, but they know they have a chance to make some noise before the 2023 campaign begins. Well, you know, money game. Uh, get to go up there and uh, play in a big stadium. These guys want to go against the best. Well, here's your opportunity. Go up and show what you, you know what you can do. And um, we need to have a good week of practice. We need to prepare well and go up there and fight. 
Now shifting back over to high school sports where the Lawrence County dance team will be on a big stage next week. The Lawrence County Dance Team will head to the Big Apple this weekend to take part in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. They're part of the Spirit of America Productions and got invited after a virtual audition. They'll be joined by 500 other dancers from across the country. They'll be dancing to Kelly Clarkson's Run Run Rudolph. Their performance will be on the pre-show on NBC at 8 a.m. next Thursday. And head coach Amanda Main says her girls are excited to represent Lawrence County. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to walk into Times Square and see their faces and watch them experience the city and to see the crowds and meet dance members from across the country that do what they do every day. Absolutely. And we're the only dance team in Lawrence County, so all the girls know is what we do here. And I'm excited for them to experience what dancers across the country do and see what other opportunities there are out there. That does it for X Sports tonight. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys tomorrow. This is the X Sports Network.